I have a Canon camera. It's a PowerShot SX60HS. When I turn on the camera, you can see I get the lens error. The lens is fully extended and it will not retract, so I'm going to take the camera apart and take the lens out. There are several parts that you're going to have to remove to take the camera apart, and there are a lot of screws. I suggest having containers to put the screws in and label them so you know where they go. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery. I'm going to remove the three screws from the left side of the case. Now I'm going to remove the two screws from the left side on the bottom. Lift up the flash and remove the screw under the flash. Remove the screw on the right hand side above the port cover. Open the port cover and remove the two screws. Remove the two screws on the bottom on either side of the tripod mount. Now using a tool such as this or something that's flat and narrow, pry the front of the case off. Using that same tool, pry the rubber piece off around the viewfinder. Now remove the two screws on either side of the viewfinder. Next I'm going to open the LCD screen and rotate it so it's horizontal. And then I'm going to remove the back cover. But you don't want to remove it completely because there's a ribbon cable on this end. So starting on the left side, carefully pry it open. Keeping the right side intact. 
and just slide it slightly to the left and you can see this ribbon cable right in here that we have to disconnect. To remove this ribbon cable, the first thing you have to do is flip up this little latch. And then you can pull the ribbon cable out. These ribbon cables are very fragile, so you want to be careful removing them. And then you can completely remove the back cover. Next, on the main board, there's this ribbon cable in the top right hand corner. I'm going to remove that. Flip the latch up and then pull the cable straight out. Now I'm going to remove this cover on the top right hand side. There's a screw on the back side right under this ribbon cable. There's another screw on the front, right under the flash. Now you can remove this top cover. Just pull up on the right hand side. It'll snap right off. Next you should discharge the flash capacitor. One way to discharge the capacitor is to use an analog voltmeter or multimeter. The analog voltmeter has a sweeping needle. Do not use a digital voltmeter. This will not work. In the top of the capacitor cover there are two holes. You insert the probes of the voltmeter touching the capacitor and discharging it. If there had been a charge in the capacitor you would have seen the needle move. But This camera has been sitting for some time and so the capacitor was already discharged. I've set up a capacitor and an analog multimeter to demonstrate what it would look like if the camera capacitor did have a charge in it. I'm going to charge this capacitor with this 9 volt battery and you can see the needle climb as it charges. Now you can see that the needle is slowly going down as the capacitor discharges. This could take several minutes to discharge. If you want to quickly discharge the capacitor, you can use one of these large resistors found in an electronics store such as Radio Shack. When I touch the resistor to the capacitor, you'll see the needle quickly drop. You do not want to just connect a wire between the two leads on the capacitor. This could cause damage. It's also possible to discharge the capacitor using a light bulb or a small motor. Now remove the flash capacitor. There's two clips on the right hand side. You just squeeze this cover together. They will come out. And then there's two pins on the other side. Just slip it off of those pins. On the right hand side of the camera, near the microphone, the top, there are two screws. I'm going to remove those two screws. On the back of the camera, this is the ribbon cable that goes to the left hand cover. I'm going to remove it.
and this one again lift this little latch and then remove the cable and now I'm going to remove this cover on the left hand side Carefully slide the ribbon cable out from under the LCD screen. Now remove the cable for the LCD screen. This one you just pry straight up on it. And it may be stuck to the back frame. Now remove these two screws for the hinge for the LCD screen. There may be another screw on the left hand side for the LCD screen hinge. This one is missing. Next I'm going to remove these screws for this metal plate on the back. and then remove the metal plate. Remove this ribbon cable on the main board. Lift the latch and pull the ribbon cable out. This one just snaps on and off. Lift it straight up. This one also has a latch. the latch and pull the cable out and this one pops straight off on the front of the camera underneath the flash there is a little ribbon cable here that just pulls straight out you may have to wiggle it back and forth a little bit out. These ribbon cables are extremely fragile, so do not put any excess stress on them. On the bottom of the camera, by the tripod mount, remove the left screw. Now I'm going to remove these two screws that hold the main board in place. As you remove the second screw, hold on to the main board because it will slide off the camera. Next I'm going to remove the four screws that hold this metal frame in place. And now this metal frame with the viewfinder slips off the back. On the back of the lens I'm going to remove this cable. It just pulls straight out. When you remove this back cover from the lens, this ribbon cable is going to go through this slot. So you have to feed that back through there when you reassemble. 
On this side of the lens, there's another ribbon cable. And it also has a latch that has to be flipped up. But this one's different from the others. It's on the right hand side. And you flip that up. And you want to look at how this is routed through here. And it's clipped on these little pegs. You have to put this back on here when you reassemble. And now this cable can pull straight out. And just remove it from these little tabs on here. Next I'm going to remove these seven screws from the back of the lens. Do not remove these three in the middle. Now you can carefully remove this back plate. Make sure that this ribbon cable doesn't get caught as it goes through this slot. Make sure that this one on this side doesn't get caught on these tabs. Now that I have the lens removed, I can turn it and get it to open and close. But you see there's some debris in here, possibly a piece of thread, some sand or dirt, and other contaminants. So you want to clean all this out so it can move freely. I'm going to use this can of compressed air to blow all the contaminants out of the lens. When the lens is fully extended, it is possible for this part to slip out. So just be careful of that. As long as the lens is at least halfway closed, it can't come out. Also check these gear teeth around the perimeter and make sure there's no debris caught in them. On the backing cover, there are two gears. And you also want to check these for debris. It looks like there's some sand on this red gear. Be sure that's cleaned out. To reassemble the camera, start by putting the back on the lens. This ribbon cable right here has to go back in through this slot. has to come up and go through there. And this cable on this side has to fit through here. So now with the back in place you can see this ribbon cable is sticking through this slot. To make sure that you have it, the back located correctly there's a pin here and here and another one up here and you should be able to see those through the back and then you know that it's in the right location and fully seated on the lens. And then make sure that this cable isn't getting pinched between the lens and the back of the cover. And now put the seven screws into the back of the lens.
On the side of the lens, make sure that this ribbon cable is located with these two little tabs here so it lines up with this connection. And then there's a little pin right here that goes through this hole that helps hold it in place. And then slide this ribbon cable back into the connector and make sure it's fully seated. There's tabs on either side and they should be up against the connector and then close this latch. Just press that down. On the back of the lens slide this cable into the connector and push it in place. And this one does not have a latch. Next I'm going to put the metal frame with the viewfinder back on. You can tell if you have the metal frame properly located because there will be a little pin right here on the back of the lens that goes through this hole and then replace the screws. And now you can put the lens through the main board subassembly. And then replace the two screws that hold the main board in place. There's a little round pin here that should locate it and another pin here. Make sure those are through these holes to locate the main board. Replace the screw with a tripod mount on the bottom of the camera. Now you can replace the flash capacitor. There's two small pins here that's, it slides over and then snaps in place on these two little clips. And then make sure that the wire for the flash capacitor runs underneath this little clip and that'll keep it out of the way. So it doesn't get caught on anything. Next I'm going to plug in the ribbon cables. This one just snaps on. Make sure it's properly located first and then just press down and you can feel it snap. The next one here just slides in to this connector. There's these little tabs on either side Make sure it's pushed all the way in and then just close this latch. The top of the main board is this next cable. Make sure it's slid all the way in. And then close the latch on it. And then this one just snaps into place.
on the front of the camera underneath the lens finder is this little cable and it just slides right into its connector. Just make sure that's pushed all the way in. So just make sure it's pushed all the way into the connector. Next I'm going to put this metal plate on the back and there is a little pin here and one here and they have to line up with these two holes. The longer screw goes up here in the right hand corner. Now I'm going to put on the LCD screen. There are two pins here on this plate that go in these two holes to locate the screen and then replace the screws. and then replace the screw on the back of the hinge on the left side of the camera. This one was missing. Now I'm going to plug in the cable for the LCD screen. It goes on this connector and just press down on it. Make sure it's snapped in place and then the cable just sticks back on the back of the camera. Make sure the cable is on the inside of this tab so it doesn't get caught on the back of the camera. Now you can take the left hand cover for the camera and slip the ribbon cable under the LCD screen And the cover should just snap into place. There will be two screws that go in to hold this left hand cover on. One is up here, the top. This will be the shorter screw. And the longer one will go here. Now slide the ribbon cable into this connector, make sure it's fully seated, and then close this latch. And then the ribbon cable should stick to the top of this other one for the LCD screen. Next replace the top right hand cover of the camera case. And this should snap into place. Replace the screw for the top right hand cover that's underneath the flash on the front of the camera and then replace the one on the back of the camera. The one in the back goes underneath this ribbon cable.
and then insert the ribbon cable for the upper right hand part of the case into this connector and then close this latch. Next I'm going to set the back cover onto the back of the camera and I'm going to plug in this ribbon cable. Just slide this ribbon cable into this connector. And you can press on these little tabs on either side to push it in. Make sure that it's fully seated and it's straight and then close this latch. And then turn the LCD screen so it's horizontal and then you can put the back cover on starting with the right hand side You'll want to make sure that the case is slipped over these ports for HDMI. and then it should snap into place. And then just go around the camera and make sure that all these seams are closed so you know it's fully in place. Now you can replace the two screws that go on either side of the viewfinder. And then the rubber piece that goes around the viewfinder just snaps into place. Next you can slide the front of the case that covers the lens back on. And that should just snap into place. Replace the two screws on the bottom of the camera on either side of the tripod mount. Replace the two screws that go under the port cover. Replace the screw on the right side above the port cover. Lift up the flash and replace the screw under there. Replace the three screws on the left hand side of the camera. The longest one will go in the top hole. Replace the two screws on the bottom of the camera on the left hand side. Now replace the battery and turn on the camera.